I'm currently work, working as an assistant professor in Istanbul Technical University, Department of Geomatics Engineering, Istanbul. Uh, here is the table of contents of my presentation. I will give a brief information about sustainability, sustainable development goals, uh, European green, green Deal, Net Zero Targets, and I will uh, continue with smart city definitions uh, and components, then uh, I'll connect those uh, topics with the geospatial big data, how to handle the, the geospatial big data, and we have so solutions like parallel and cluster processing, and some uh, s frameworks like Dusk GeoPandas and uh, Apache Sedona, and briefly, talk about data file formats like GeoParQ. And I have a benchmark test of the big geospatial big data uh, frameworks. And I, I will uh, give the case study, which is uh, about sustainable smart energy management uh, in order to achieve the uh, United Kingdom net zero carbon emission targets. So let's start. Firstly, uh, I will talk about the problem definition. As you see, uh, the increasing urbanization across the world makes cities more crowded and complex. Uh, this situation brings along many social, environmental, and uh, economic problems, such as housing, traffic, density, and air pollution. Uh, it is uh, necessary to overcome these problems and manage cities effectively. Uh, and that is why we, call, we say that there is a need for sustainable smart cities that utilizes uh, information and communication uh, technologies. So in the European Green Deal, uh, there, there are some uh, targets in order to achieve uh, uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, the European Commission's Green Deal sets ambitious goals for uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and in, uh, investing the uh, en environmental friendly technologies. Uh, the European Green Deal uh, sets uh, zero carbon emission by to 2050, and there is also a 2030 goal, which is uh, making the the carbon neutral co uh, continent by uh, uh, by at least 50 percent uh, uh, up to 2030, and uh, successfully impl implementing these uh, goals requires some uh, rigid actions uh, by utilizing uh, geospatial big data. And let's uh, briefly talk about uh, smart cities. A smart city can be defined as a information technologies to improve its services and the management to solve the problems. Uh, you can see that computers, mobile phones, e even people's, uh, humans generate massive amount of data, uh, which increases day by day. Well, we need to take care of uh, this uh, huge massive data, handle this data, uh, big, big data, uh, in order to achieve these uh, Green Deal goals and uh, carbon neutral uh, goals. And looking at the smart cities, we have several different teams like smart mobility, smart people, smart living, and smart economy, smart, smart government. And today uh, I will be holding to the smart uh, environment, uh, which is related with green buildings, green energy, and uh, green urban planning. So how to handle geospatial big data? Uh, as we see, we have both uh, structured and unstructured data, uh, several big data sources. We need to uh, handle those by using parallel processing, cluster processing, or cloud computing, since uh, these are uh, massive uh, to store and process, analyze, and even visualize them. Uh, we cannot use traditional uh, methods and uh, approaches to handle those data. Uh, in, 
in, we have Apache Sedona and uh, Dust Geopandas, two uh, open source uh, frameworks to to uh, process this uh, big geospatial big data. They are big data analytics tools, and they, they are using parallel processing and uh, sp special indexes. Uh, the parallel processing is a method that uses two or uh, more processors uh, in parallel to process a computational tasks uh, in partitions. So it splits the task into several uh, different partitions and assign one partition the, uh, to each processor core, which greatly reduce the uh, uh, time it takes to process the data. On the other hand, multi-core processors uh, provide better performance uh, and lower the power consumption while uh, taking care of this data. And uh, those frameworks are using also special indexes to, uh, to, to increase the speed of processing. And here is the uh, uh, general uh, framework of the Apache Sedona. It has several dev developer tools like Apache Zeppelin, Tableau, Jupyter, uh, Geopandas, and RStudio. In, uh, in, in, in this study, we have used J Jupyter uh, Notebook. A developer tool, and uh, it it can both it, it can both uh, work with vector and raster data sources uh, with special query processing uh, layers. Uh, we can have uh, we can conduct special uh, k nearest neighbor special join NDVI uh, etc. And uh, it has competi competing engines. Uh, Apache Spark and Flink. In this study, we have used Apache Spark for for the performance test of Apache Sedona to handle geospatial big data, and it can also uh, work with special different spatial data formats like uh, GeoParku, GeoJSON, uh, Shapefile, uh, and uh, Ge GeoTIFF as well, and uh, it can also work in in a cloud environment, uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and Databricks. And let's mention also about Dusk Geopandas. Uh, it has a client user-facing entry point for cluster users, uh, and it works with uh, Jupyter Notebook environment, Python programming language. It has a scheduler which manages state and sense task to workers for execution. And uh, the distributed cluster has also uh, several workers uh, which compute uh, tasks and store and serve computed results to the other workers or clients. Uh, here is the uh, geospatial big data administration model framework for sustainable smart cities. Firstly, uh, we have model uh, design and uh, development of the framework, and we have a data warehouse which uh, stores the geospatial big data, and we can uh, we we can develop smart city application, for example, smart uh, environment applications, and uh, in the analysis and analytics uh, phase, we have our uh, geospatial big data uh, frameworks to process the data. Uh, for example, we can uh, specially join the data and create some uh, clusters, uh, special clusters like uh, k-means clustering. And uh, after the processing step, we can visualize the data, uh, for example, in data shader. Uh, this is the general framework uh, which we have used for uh, developing sustainable smart city application. And I will continue with the study area. We have uh, used uh, open data sources uh, of the, uh, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, Ireland, uh, England and Wales countries. Uh, there is energy performance of buildings data of England and Wales. Uh, in these data sources, uh, there is lots of uh, attributes like uh, property type, which describes the type of property such as house, flat, masonets, and uh, build form, detached terrace, uh, etc. And it, it it also contains environment impact, uh, which is a measure of the property's current impact uh, on the environment in terms of carbon dioxide emissions and many other uh, 
useful uh, attributes. This is uh, in the England and Wales scale, and we have also used op uh, Ordnance Survey Open Map Local uh, data source. We have extracted the buildings of of the whole uh, two country, England and Wales. Uh, this is the uh, polygon data, and this is the uh, point vector data. These are the two data sources we have used in our study, and here is the methodology. We uh, we have tested two different uh, analysis, special join and spe special clustering um, approaches in, in both Apache Sedona and that, that's Geopandas. So, uh, Firstly, we we have uh, downloaded the data from the uh, relevant uh, sources, uh, as we as I mentioned before. Uh, we have used GeoParQ and uh, GeoParQ and uh, GeoPackage data sources, and we have also tested those performance of those uh, file data file types. Uh, after having the data uh, from the data sources, we have uh, saved it as a PARQ file format, which uh, creates special partitions and uh, provides faster uh, data manipulation. And this is the second data source, uh, EPC. We have re read it in a PARQ file format. And we have conducted special join uh, in here with, 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 uh, by using Dusk GeoPandas. Uh, the reason uh, by re the reason doing this analysis it was uh, creating uh, building scale data analytics for uh, for 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 the study area to observe which uh, regions which buildings has more energy efficiency and which regions are and which uh, buildings has uh, lower energy scores so that we can uh, manage this uh, uh, manage this uh, energy issue, uh, carbon uh, carbon dioxide emissions, so that we can uh, cr so that we can um, uh, create some uh, pol uh, po po some uh, politics uh, like we can uh, change the uh, uh, we can change the plans uh, zoning plans so we can uh, increase the green areas or lower the residential areas. Uh, it gives us uh, to uh, administrate the city as a whole to, in order to uh, successfully uh, apply the sustainable development goals in, in, in terms of smart, sustainable smart cities. And this, this, this is the another uh, special join. We have read the data in the Apache Sedona uh, uh, in, in GeoParQ file format as well. And U, uh, UPRN was the address of the uh, address of the buildings. We have uh, specially joined the two data, and uh, these are the Das Geopandas and Apache Sedona uh, special join, which we have conducted in. Uh, in the Jupyter Notebook Python environment. And we have also uh, conducted k-means clustering in order to cluster the buildings to, uh, to see, to observe uh, where is the uh, specially clustered uh, energy efficiency regions. Uh, and this is the Apache Sedona uh, codes for k-means. Uh, we, we, uh, we have conducted uh, uh, defining the K parameter with the elbow method and uh, find the clusters as two. And here is the performance test of the parallel processing systems, both uh, for the special join and clustering. Uh, for the clustering, we, uh, we have faced uh, a, a problem and we we lowered the we we, we lowered the uh, data uh, in order to make it work for the Apache Sedona, so uh, it it is seen that it has a shorter runtime when compared with the special join. Uh, the the both uh, frameworks are. Uh, has similar performances, but Apache Sedona has uh, 
a little bit uh, faster in terms of runtime of the performance test, in the performance test. Uh, but using parallel processing uh, requires really uh, big data solutions. When, when you use small data sets, uh, you will see that uh, it is nonsense to use those parallel processing systems. Uh, the traditional methods work faster in the uh, relatively small da data sets. And uh, we have visualized the building scale energy efficiency analytics using data shader. You can uh, see that the, uh, the yellow buildings has uh, more an energy efficiency, uh, sorry, the lower energy efficiency, and we can uh, make uh, more detailed uh, solutions for those regions in order to uh, in order to in increase the sustainability of the cities in terms of uh, smart energy green energy and uh, looking at the results the data driven tracking of smart cities for climate climate action is uh, crucial we can uh, we we can use the data uh, in order to in order to plan uh, the cities, uh, zoning plans, and, uh, and green areas, the buildings, and make uh, make the, the actions, uh, realistic actions, to achieve those uh, green deal sets for for whole, all over the world. And development of a holistic geospatial big data administration model gives us uh, uh, a computation power uh, in order to handle uh, geospatial big data. And uh, we have compared the two geospatial big data analytics tools. We, we can use those open source uh, uh, geospatial big data frameworks in order to efficiently handle this, uh, uh, these massive data sources. And revealing the potential of geospatial big data analytics uh, was the results of uh, our study. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, uh, I will be uh, happy to answer them. Thank you.